Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mr. Alban. Yeah. How was your day? Thank you, it was fine. Sorry, I just watched it. Perfect. Hey, the boss, Kufa. <laughs> hey. The boss. You're all welcome. The virtue, you're welcome. It just came in and uh, my laptop was hanging. I had to read. That's what I'm going to do. This means to come in. So we can, we can proceed immediately. So my friend. Let me meet you. Okay, so. Uh, good evening, Mr. Alzman. Yeah, good evening, Abmuta. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said that was your day today with his, uh, your traits. Yeah, it was fine, up and down. <laughs> it was <laughs> fine. You <laughs> have two Deborah in the house, huh? Yes, we have two. <laughs> okay. Deborah Obong had a testimony that she has been able to take. Yeah. Today. So at yes. least the essence of our, of our program is working. We are re achieving results. Our essence of yes. this program is to help people to help people know how to forex, to help people develop their skill sets in this industry. The aim of this program is to help people know little things, little things, little things that they couldn't know because they have not been they have not gotten the time or the environments they could not learn so the essence of this program is to help people learn the skill set simple uh, trading trading is an art and it is a very simple one very simple art and the simplicity is decided by you the trader you are the one that decides to keep it simple you are the one that decides to confuse even yourself by having too many things that confuse you. First of all, for those that have not been here with us the, four, the, the first three days, uh, we have the videos of the first day, the video of the second day, the video on the, of the third day posted on our Facebook page. If you go to Marban Selfex Global Services, you will see day one, day two, day three. Even the one we started now is also recorded. The apologies I gave yesterday for the, the first two videos. First two videos was this. People came into the meeting room earlier than scheduled time. Scheduled time was 8 p.m. I discovered some people were there as at before 7 p.m. So um, the recording was on cloud. So each time anybody comes in, the system starts recording. So I have a very long, at least one hour plus, without anything happening. So if you want to watch the video, when you click on it, shift it to where you start having voice or activities. But for yesterday on, I don't, we don't have such issue. I've changed the method of recording. Now, um, number two, let's see what we what we have been doing every day is the same thing we want to do we don't want to do anything new we want to see how we can be doing the same thing but for now i think what we should take home what we should take home i gave that here as an assignment let everybody look for the difference between the trading system and uh, trading strategy trading strategy even at google you can have it there are a lot of videos write-ups on it anyway just 
try to differentiate between trading system and strategy. What I'm saying is this, if you are a trader and you don't have a trading system, you must not start trading yet. You must have a system. And in that your system, your system should be flexible enough to give you more than one strategy. The system must be flexible enough to give you more than one strategy. Why am I saying that? The market itself is unpredictable, so dynamic in nature. And uh, Forex is a three-leg table. I've been, I like this. This is so primary, too primary for uh, the cartoon at baby pips, at least. What we should take note at that level of primary is very, very relevant till tomorrow. And one of the person that believes in balance. Yes. Bye bye. Balance is the key to life. Without balance in life, you cannot survive. So forex is like a three-leg table. Sorry, I cannot draw here. If I'm able to draw, I would have drawn a table with three legs for you. Yes, <laughs> Meet all again. Okay. Forex is a three-leg table. And uh, you cannot do without these three legs. Firstly, it has to do with the technical. It has to do with the fundamental. Fundamentals. Let me put it for technical. Fundamental and the third one is the sentimental. Sentimental analysis, technical analysis, fundamental analysis. These are the three things that drives the market. The market you are into now, there are three things that drives it. And these three place simultaneously and um, you play about 70 or 90 percent rule you not the skills not the skills this time put the whole skills together the whole skill could not take more than 25 percent so the success depends on you your emotions is one of the the biggest contributor to your success or failure in this business so whatever you can do to get started and stand firm in this business, you need to do it. Fortunate enough for us, for technical analysis, we have softwares. You can buy software. You need to buy software. Even at your MT4, go to coding. You see so many codings. If you are still there, go buy them. Pay money, 5000 2000 even $100, buy them. So technicals have been handled. Fundamental, you can have it from Bloomberg TV. You can buy Bloomberg TV. I mean, uh, uh, here we have DSTV, we have Star Times. You can have it, the Star Times is the cheapest, three times eight subscription. You have your Bloomberg. So fundamental, you can be current. Some of us can be, can, you can even watch Bloomberg TV on your browser. You can, you can do anything. Those ones have been taken care of. For technical, we have, I market life providing us all the technical services analysis so many live channels now i think our transmission on tv is more than 35 hours per week for now we can have even the alert wave which is one of the most important tools you need to learn and know we have it alert wave analysis wave analysis we have technical we have for crucial so many things so technical have been taken care of till today those that started trading before my I was born, and those that are trading at hand, there is one thing we don't have yet. No company, no, no scriptwriter, no programmer have been able to program any software that can manage our emotions for us. That is what is lacking for now. At that scenario, please, you need to be a good manager of your emotions to remain successful in the business. So at that point, you don't have to ignore any of these three. Whatever you do with your candlesticks, 
whatever you do with your trend line, whatever you do with the Fibonacci retracement, you detect the trend well, you saw support and resistance. Everything is clear. That is only technical analysis. Please take note. Everything you have done, seen it, have it as a software, do your personal analysis. After the whole thing, that is only technical analysis. That is only technical analysis. When you are done with that, because you are correct, because you've seen it, it's right. That is why we put stop loss. That's why stop loss still come to play. How can someone see price at support? See price from candlesticks, forming a bullish candlestick formation, call it morning star, bullish shooting star, piercing line, um, uh, tweezer bottoms, I'm mentioning um, candlesticks that are bullish setup, uh, engulfing a pattern. Um, I don't know if I can't mention all. Now you've seen it on support. That is what we say. Buy bullish setups at support. Buy sell bearish setups at resistance below resistance above support. Keep your stop loss below support, outside support and resistance zone. Stop loss should not come in between the two. Stop loss should be outside the two. You have done that. Please take note. That is only technical analysis. Because of the unknown, we still have a stop loss. Otherwise, that why would you put stop loss again? You have seen support. You have seen candlesticks formation. You have seen the trend. Everything. Even your indicator you bought with money, I told you to buy. Why should you put stop loss? It's because that is only the technical analysis. We still have the fundamental analysis. Now, the beauty of fundamental analysis is this. We have calendars, many. FX Street, check, they have so many forex calendars. By Facebook, the, the, the most popular one everybody's using is uh, forestfactory.com. For sake of, for sake of uh, not new. Remember the program we are doing it for new persons to forex. You are imagining that our imagination is that no, we don't know anything. So you have to take everybody from the scratch. So please, if you have a question, no matter how simple the question is, please ask. This is not for experts. This session is for people that wants to take it from the zero, from level one. So you can ask any question at all. So at forestfactory.com, we have the calendar for the week, for the month, for the year. And that calendar is what we follow to check exactly what will happen tomorrow. What is happening in the market tomorrow? Tomorrow, how, how do we know what? Now that I'm done with my technical analysis, but tomorrow by 1 p.m., oh, this is going to happen tomorrow. This thing happened last month, same time. When it happened last month, same time, what was the impact on the market? It happened last three years. History repeats itself. Don't forget that, 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 that phrase. History repeats itself in this industry. So if it happened last year, it happened, this was the impact. Last month, um, President Draki spoke by this, at this, say, okay, this is what's the impact. You now check, and this time that is going to speak tomorrow, what will happen? I've gotten my technical analysis. Please, that is number two. That is fundamental. But what we fail to remember when we discuss fundamental, it is not over with the calendar event. It's not over with the calendar event. So fundamental will be divided into two. We talk about fundamental, you have to remember fundamental, you have to remember the one we just discussed now is the economic activities, which is number one. Under fundamental, we have the economic, economic activities globally. That has to do with job, employment, this, that, economic activities, number one, when it comes to fundamental. 
that is one under fundamental one of the drivers of fundamental then number two the one you would not know the one you would not know is called breaking news it's called breaking news this one is not calendared so even if you know even if your cousin that is staying with the uh, the fed chair who is his pa or her pa or your cousin that is with uh, the draggy tells you that draggy will not trade impact tomorrow in the news he has said he will, his speech will be dovish he had said he had promised in fact he had saw he he saw the speech is about to read tomorrow that his speech will be dovish meaning that the impact will not be much the, the euro would not create any impact in the market tomorrow please even at that level that is under economic activities what about the breaking news how would you know the breaking news how would you know immediately that there is a bomb blast at uh, manchester how would you know that that could give you enough money if you were selling pounds usd how would you know immediately the bomb blast took place did you were you aware well how would you know that is a plane crash at belgium airport how would you know these are breaking news so for these reasons we are done with technical the fundamental unknown the breaking news, unexpected news, earthquake, what? You don't know. It wasn't announced that there shall be earthquake. Those are breaking news. For that reason, that is why you are concerned about the risk percentage of your investment per trade, no matter how certain the setup was. We call it technical setup. No matter how certain the setup was, no matter the certainty of the source of your signal, you still have to go on what we call risk management. Calculate how much you want to risk. Calculate how much you are about to lose in case of the unforeseen. And that is done, please, your emotions is another problem. The day you are not good at trading, why not stay out of the market? The day or the week you have like a five, you open five positions, all hit stop loss, it affects your emotion. Why not stop trading for that week? Why not avoid MT4, close it and forget? Why not change environment? Why not look for another environment entirely and move in there and stay and trade? Some cities have gardens. Why not move from home? If home is too much, get to a garden, sit under a tree and trade. Why not look for water side, river, ocean side? Why not look for swimming pool side? Why not just relocate? These are all part of how you could balance your emotions. Why not delete everything that is bothering you and concentrate for a while? It's a business that needs, it's, 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 it's a field of professionalism that needs you, not the outer you, I mean the inner you. You must, be, you must be influenced. Whatever anybody does influences that person. You must be influenced by this market. This market must influence you. So I'm starting there from there today, and we still go back to our analysis. Whatever we could not do today, or what we did yesterday, we can still go back to the chart. I will appreciate your questions. Your questions would be the ones to help me to give you more information that you need. But please, remember when we are done with technical, we still have fundamentals. Under fundamentals, economic news are calendared, fine. But what about breaking news? There are some events that come into, comes into the calendar 30 minutes before the release. You can still remember that the Swiss bank uh, the pegging of their uh, euro, their currency from euro, wasn't announced. We, we, we did not have a prior notice earlier. We never knew. Things just came. Some news that even calendar has shifted. Thing where while I was here, there was one of uh, Ms., uh, President Draki's address that was shifted one hour before the scheduled time. 
Imagine even at public holiday, he still speak and it, it created some impact. So what do you think? So this is the reason you don't go in there blind. It requires, this thing needs you. I think in the class yesterday, one of my students mentioned, um, give a price that he, there's a, there's a signal by limits. He mentioned the currency pay, he mentioned the price. Millie mentioned the price. I was not on MT4, but I know that that price is not feasible. This, this price cannot be feasible this month, not less of this year. What price is that? He mentioned again, and when we checked back, he now noticed that he made a mistake. There's a price, how can you be a trader and someone is talking about gold and mentioning a price of gold per ounce or per, per ounce, and you don't tell him, no, that is not true. How can you be a trader and someone will come to tell you the price of crude oil? When you are the one that's supposed to tell the person that crude oil had been within $49 per barrel for a while now, moving to 50, coming back to 40, 49, 50, it has been around, ranging there. And as we are speaking, as far as USD, Canadian dollar is buying, that you are expecting crude oil to drop backward, back down, either to 48 or 43. What if it goes back to anything there? You should be, you, you are supposed to tell someone the price of crude oil. You are supposed to tell someone what is happening at ExxonMobil, what is happening at Coca-Cola. You, you are supposed to be the one advising someone on those issues that, that you are involved 24 hours, you are there. Even on this road, you are there, you are MT4 on your phone. You come back home on your laptop. Why don't you know the prices? You should be the one. People should be calling your buffer. How is please how much is crude oil per barrel? You should be the one that tell the person. This is how you must be involved fully. You must get involved in this business get committed with this business. You must be, you can't do it, it's a provision. You must put all your time, commitment, focus. You should be dreaming of pits. When you are sleeping, in fact, you should be making mistakes to play some trades in the dream. And wake up and discover it wasn't, it wasn't here. And rush to MT4. That is how it affects me. That is how it affects others. So you must get involved in the business. The real you inside you is the one that would actually get you, get, keep you successful. Now our training is basically, we are trying to see how we can make our trading simple. I'm talking about making trading simple. That is what we are into. Making trading simple, as simple as a, B, C, D. So we are going to check what and what and what are we using as our set of tools that makes our trading system. What, what, what makes our trading system? We have to determine what and what will make our trading system. We have to check what and what and what we have as Members of the iMarketLife family, we have to check how many tools we have and their value, and how can they help us in making decisions. Those of us that are yet being members of the family, what and what can I use to take decisions? After all, if we started trading before IML came, so people are still trading. Oh, so what and what? IML is a educational platform. What if I'm there and learn for three, six months, seven months? Do I still need to learn? Can you become an expert? Do you even know what is involved in being in the forex industry? You knowing how to trade a loan is okay. Knowing how to trade a loan is okay. I'm just looking at the future of this country by the time regulations will be out. I believe commercial banks will get involved and they will need more traders. They will need, you will be able to, and trading is not a matter of certification. You prove it. You don't, you don't, you don't, we don't need to be get here, just bring out your results. You'll be assessed. Appraisal, 90 days. So what you do now is, 
we have discovered a new industry that is not yet started, truly speaking. This industry have not started yet in this country. We have just discovered it and we are preparing ourselves to become the stakeholders that shall start it well. That is what we are doing now. So you can put all you have and practice this act of trading. Practice it, get perfection. Truly speaking, you will sell. You will sell. That is the promise I have for you. Our analysis we did yesterday, I think we analyzed USD Canadian dollar last night, if I'm not mistaken. We did a, we looked at USD JPY. Did we do Euro USD? Yes, I think so. We did Euro USD. The video is there. And today we are still going to go back to the chart and look for one, two, three, four chart and analyze. Yes, since we are doing this, we are not giving you a trading signal. We are showing you how to do it. Those of us that joined my my WhatsApp group. I think someone asks if there's a signal. All you need to know is, as a trader, all you ask, hello, hello, bro, so far, sorry, I've not been in the house this morning, I've not checked my MT4. Please, uh, do you know the resistance and support for Euro, uh, Euro GBP or USD JPY? Can you have the support and resistance? If someone just give you support and resistance zone, their yeah, support should be at about this. So anytime from here, about this price is support, here is resistance. When you have that information, please, that is okay for you. You don't need any other thing. You are lucky to know support and resistance. You don't need to look just, when you have support and resistance, you are okay. Number two, what is the trend? I cannot see the trend on my phone or whatever excuse you may have. Whatever excuse you may have. Please, what is a trend on USD JPY? And someone tells you that the current trend monthly is this, weekly is this, and it only adds weekly that price is doing is retracing towards 60, 50%, 61.8%, or 74.78.2% or so retracement. And at that point, that price is retracing at weekly or at monthly, automatically you come to daily, you may you will be seeing a bullish trend. But now you will know that the trend you are seeing in the daily is, is a retracement at weekly or at monthly. So what do you do is you rush to your Fibonacci tool, retracement tool, place it. Check where 61.8 is. The same place 61.8 is, is the same place it is in my in on my own chart platform, is everybody. You see you have 50% and check if you can have an entry price. Please don't enter trade anyhow. I said in the first day, in the first video, that whatever your trading system is, it must be able to give you two important things. Entry. Entry point, you need entry point because you will not live in the market forever. You have to enter and come out. That's how you make money. And you need exit point. And the exit it must give you must be two. Your system should give you exit in profits and exit in case of loss. two exits and that is when we have risk reward ratio risking 1% for 2% risking 1% for 1.5% is a good reward risking for 2% is a good reward risking 1 for 5 with $10 for $50 is still a good reward but you have to manage the open positions to ensure that your positive trade does not turn negative. I remember that question at the chat room today during the live trade. I remember someone asked that question when I was able to move my stop loss across to the end, to the, let me check if I still have that chat. Someone asked that question when I was able to shift my stop loss, shift my stop loss. 
where is the trade? We analyzed this trade yesterday. Okay. Is it not day one? Am I out? Let me confirm. Maybe I'm out of that trade. I shifted my stop loss. I'm not out. I'm still in. USD Canadian dollar. USD Canadian dollar. Okay, I'll see it. Don't worry. And no way to see it. It's highlighting red as at now. Yes. Let me share this briefly. This is what happens today. Um, share screen. This is what we were chatting at the WhatsApp group today. When we entered this trade, remember this analysis we did from what day? Let me zoom out. Four hours. Can we see that four hours? Let's check at daily. Yes, we started buying USD card from here and we exited here when we had this bearish engulfing. Let me do this first. So do, it will at least give us time to do the analysis together. I kept this for the sake of the class. Those that were with me will remember what happened. Now, we started buying here. When we bought here, was it on the feet of, uh, we bought from here, from here we started buying. And when we bought it, it came to a point and formed a bearish engulfing. What date was this? This was on the 5th of May. Feet. Check this, your candle. This candle, was on, it was on the 5th. When, when it came here and formed this bearish engulfing, we now started selling. But before we sold here, what, I, what we were looking at was, this is what? A bullish trend. Fine. Now, this has formed A. This has formed B. So we were looking for C. At that point, oh, my, 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 what's up? Do I need to refresh? My cursor is not moving again. How do we get that resolved? My system, my platform hanging. Okay, we are free. So what we did was to pick the Fibonacci. Please follow us. This is if if you miss, go back to the three the first three days video. You catch it up. We picked it up from here. We did not draw it before now. We were following it before now. Initially, we were looking at a. To B, C, former C becomes A, and the D, high, higher than the previous high, becomes our B. When we saw the price forming a bearish engulfing pattern, what we did was to come and place our tool here, to here. That is how simple trading should be. When we place the tool here, we started selling from here, looking for C at 50% or at 61.8%. And we found it. Despite the fact that the price came close below the 61.8%, but it's still a zone of former resistance now becoming future support. We cannot rule it out. This level is 61.8. When we saw this, we saw this setup again. This setup is a piercing line, a candle coming into more than 60% of the previous candle. It is called a piercing line, these two. When we saw the piercing line forming at 61.8, we now understood that we have gotten our ABC. So we should be looking for D. We now saw that we had our A, B, C. A. We now saw that we had our B. B. 
those that followed me from here would attest to the fact that we followed it from that point. We sold it on the feet. We found our C at the normal expected place, 61.8%. And uh, the theory is, the, 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 remember the formula? Who remembers the formula for ABCD? The formula is AB equals to CD. Yes, thank you, sir. Remember. AB equals to CD. That's a formula. And uh, we discussed yesterday about the sequence, Fibonacci sequence, that whenever retracement stops at 50%, 61.8%, or 78.4%, that the next target would be 161.8%. Uptrend, price forms higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and a higher high. The next high must be higher than the previous high. That's why when we come to see, instead of the next high being higher than the previous high, it comes to form a double top or forms a triple top, something is wrong. There is a strong resistance there. Where, Hello, there, where there is no such resistance, the rule of uptrend is price forms higher lows and higher highs. A high coming next must be higher than this. So AB equals to CD is our technique of keeping it simple. So A to B, whatever number of pips, whatever number of pips we had at A to B is our expected number of pips between C and D. C 578 pips is what we had, and we are expecting to have C to D, our C here to D. So that is how simple we can project to have 161.8. So even if I keep my stop, my take profit at 161.8, I'm not wrong. So it must be that AB equals to CD. It could be more, but this helps you to take decision. That out of 560 something pips, if you can take even half of that, if you can take even 200, if you can, that's why you stay here and forget. You don't have issues staying there and forget. Let the trade take you to anywhere. You don't care. You don't care. This is how simple one can trade. But how did we arrive at this? First thing is the analysis. How? What is the trend? First question, what is the trend? When you catch the trend, even by looking at the chart with your eye and you're able to see price forming higher highs and higher lows, that is a trend. Even by plotting a trend line, connecting a previous low to the next available low, and projecting it to a future, that is a trend. We connect this low to this low. As at then, price was here. Now price comes back and recognizes this diagonal support. It's still support and resistance. So you can make trading very simple. First thing is to detect the trend. And remember what I said yesterday, the real trend is not known at smaller time frames. These are retracements. You take your trend from inception, try to know the trend from inception. So when you are talking to someone, you are telling someone as an, as an insider, as an insider in this business, you can traditionally tell someone that USD Canadian dollar had been on a bullish trend from what date? The lowest low on July 2011. July 2011, we started buying. For position traders, they are there, they are there. They made up to, it has moved up to 5,249 pips. That is one. We've seen the trend there. You want to check more history? Yes, we stop. Can you hear me? 
Yes, sir, ma'am. That long, that long trend that has been, you said 2011, it has yes. been an upward trend, right? Yes. For now, that 5,000, over 5,000 tips. All those little, little retreatments, you are calling little retreatments. Some of these retreatments are up to like 100 to 200 tips. Am I right? Yes, or more. Or even more. Yes. So, and uh, if we are to go by the P, if you are to go by the trend, yes, like this 100 P, 200 P retracement, we are not supposed to catch them because we'll be working against the trend, right? We buy and we sell. We buy, we are using Fibonacci tool to detect retracement. And let me answer your question. What you are talking, I understand. We have we came to the monthly time frame to confirm the trend. Not that we are using this to enter trades. Before you can trade monthly okay. time frame, before you can trade monthly time frame, you need like a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars equity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, cannot, you cannot trade time frame with your little equity. You cannot trade monthly uh -huh. time frame because the stop loss in the monthly time frame cannot be. <laughs> <laughs> cannot carry your account even if you are, even if you are using exactly. it. okay now i've done even that you are using it very low. number very two we now confirm the trend from the weekly charts when we came to the weekly chart we saw that since the trend moved since the trend moved from 211 and got to 2016 january it now formed a bearish we call this setup what setup is this who knows the name? These two engulfing, engulfing. This should be not engulfing here. This is dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover here. Dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. Please take notes. Dark cloud cover. We now found a dark cloud cover here on the weekly charts, and that was January 2016. Mm. And since then, we now started coming down on a bearish trend. And this trend, if we want to use our tool, price was forming higher high, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. It has taken out the uptrend. So at this point, we saw that we don't need to sell buy again. We started selling here. We started selling on the weekly charts until we now have this and go. This one is engulfing here. Okay. On May 2016, one year ago, that showed that we are back up. So what we need to know now was, as at this point, what do we need? We need to check where are we going to. You can see that price retraced up to 78.4% of the journey it started on the feet of May of 2015. Exactly one year later, it was back 78.4%. All this we are trying to confirm before we come back to our smaller time frame to take trades. We want to be sure that we are not fighting against the chairman. The we are not fighting against the trend because the trend may not know the smaller time frame. The trend knows the bigger time frame. What the bigger time frame tells you is the trend. So I now move to daily. Even at daily, after all, we have seen at the weekly time frame that from the May 2016, it formed a bullish engulfing pattern here that people started buying. Since then, price is forming higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, till death. So all you need to do is to keep catching a new low, place the FIP as we have just done. What we have met now, what we came to meet now is this one. Those of us that saw the scanner gave this trade to, the harmonic pattern scanner gave this buy. We bought it from there. We bought it from here. Remember this one? And when it exited here, it gave a sell. 
And when we came to check, we saw it that it was okay because of this um, bearish engulfing, we now sold. But before we sold, we, we wanted to know where we can take profit. I'm now talking about going, that is a counter trend trading now. But what gives us mm -hmm. the courage to take a counter trend is that we know that the price is retracing to a certain, a given level, which could be between 50, 61, or 78.4%. How do we know that the help of this tool called Fibonacci retracement? Fibonacci. We took yeah. it from the beginning of this current trend, the low to the high, when this engulfing pattern formed, we had it there. When we had it there, we now look for a candlestick formation, which is a engulfing, engulfing, bearish engulfing. This is daily. If we go to four hours, we can have another pattern that will be earlier. This is a dark cloud cover. This is a dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover. The previous candle is a new candle has opened and come back more than or about 60% of the previous candle becomes a dark cloud cover. So at four hours, you might have taken your sell here. And how would you know you take profit? It's through the help of these two called Fibonacci retracement that you are placed to see that we are having 50% here, we are having 61% here. You may be conservative to take your profits here at 50%. Maybe conservative to take your profit here at 50%. Let's check how many pips that would give you. And this is now four hours. At four hours, it's easier for you. The laser, it is at 50%, we have 244 pips. Now, at this point, what you do is you keep your stop loss outside B, outside B about 15 pips away from this high 15 pips away from the high is better whatever the high is call it this is 40 pips plus 15 that will give us 55 pips 55 pips 1.3809 that is your stop loss your take profit is at 50 percent retracement level now the price keep moving up to the price moved up to up to 100 pips you move your stop loss and close partial profit it moved here you move your stop loss to 15 pips above this new high close partial profit 72 pips it moved up to 38.2 you move stop loss it crossed into 50% now you have taken away risk by moving stop loss and follow. You can now come and move your take profit here again towards 61.8. You have close risk, no risk, you have close profit. You now allow it to come to play here and came to 61.8 and took you out in profit. I will not advise you to expect it here. At this point, you stay out of the market and wait. What are you waiting for? A new signal from the price mm -hmm. action, from the candle, from the harmony there pattern, scanner, from the scanner, from the candle, from anything at all that you are looking at that is telling you to buy. Anytime you see any bullish setup above this level, that is when the business concerns you. When it was below, you were out. So you took about 300 pips here, in addition to the one you took here, uh, 100, uh, 500, that's 800. Now, what are we looking at? AB is equal to CD. As far as AB is concerned, so we should be seeing how we can be making about 500 pips from here. But we do not know when and how. We do not know when it will be there. You don't know. So you don't, you don't preempt the market. All you do is to wait and see what the market has for you. What did the market have for us? It told us at this level, we woke up and saw that where we were looking at 61.8 was meant. We stayed out of the former sell position and waited for a candlestick formation that will tell us to buy. I remember that when I analyzed this trade by weekend, I saw a setup. I saw a setup. This is a setup. This is engulfing um, above 61.8. 
I saw a setup and we decided to buy it from Monday. We bought it on Monday from, yeah, we saw, we bought somewhere here and exited here. See, exited here. It retraced back to give us what we call tweezer buttons. Tweezer buttons. It retraced back. We exited the first buy. It retraced back and gave us tweezer button. And this tweezer buttons is enough signal for you to buy again because the tweezer buttons forms at 61.8 and we detected our support at 1.3430 and uh, at that point we were into the market i entered the first one i exited two threads and it retraced back during the news this is four hours you trace back during the news we entered this current one when i entered this one i was using this one on the on the whatsapp chat group showing people that we are there good to go i have moved in i have kept my stop loss below this low and when the price was positive i moved my stop loss to break even and when the price was up as high as this i now move my stop loss to protect how many pips 24 pips is protected there i can decide to protect more than 24 pips 28 pips 30 pips i've protected 30 pips that's number one those that are there in that chat room will see that i open this trade what what loss size is here now 0 0.0 i open this trade with 1.0 when it was somewhere here i closed 0 0.5 i took it out money when it came back up here i closed 0 0.3 so I've closed 0 0.8 so far, remaining 0 0.2. That is called partial, take partial profit. Are we together there? So I've taken yeah. out 0 0.8 from the trade I entered. I've taken out 0 0.8 from the trade. and now still in profit. And uh, if it takes me out here now, I will still have $43 profit. This four hours. You must see it well there. Let's take one hour. This is what I mean. We entered the trade here. We bought it the we bought it the first day here. Exited when it came back. We now enter again today. When we enter today, I kept my stop loss below the low. Outside this, my detected support. This support area, I have seen it. I have detected it. First thing I do is to look for support. Support and look for history. Resistance and support as at uh, 2017, as at April, support here as at um, May 25th. Support here, sorry, this is the line I'm talking about. Support here as at 29th May. Support three times, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I now saw this level as my support. I entered a buy here. I place my stop loss 10 pips below here. So meaning that my stop loss was 10 pips below here this is 23 plus 10. That makes it 33 pips. So 1.3420. And when the trade now moved in profit, I, cl I closed partial profit from 1.00. I closed 0 0.5. I took half of it move my stop loss to break even when it came up here i now close 0 0.3 remain 0 0.2 move my stop loss from break even and close in 43 dollars profit of 29 pips that is how okay. you do the trade please want to ask a question okay how do you how do you close part of the lot size i don't know how it's been done on the mt4 okay Let's look for, let's look for any way and do it. I don't, the account you are watching is a, 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 a client account. We don't open it that way. Let's check for any other MT4. Let's do it together. Okay. Let's open a trade here and close partial profits. Please take note, right. this USD card. The essence of doing this is just to see how to take profit. Let's uh, let's open with. I uh, started with 1.0. Any um, any any lot, 
any lot. Let's see, let's say 0 0.5. I place a buy. I place a buy. Do I have any trade here? This is for training. What trade are here? Okay, this account is for training sake. We use it for this. It's a demo account for classes. This is okay. for practicals. So now I come to the trade. This is the trade we just opened. Okay. Highlight on it and close order. Close order. I want to close how many pips? How many pips? How many lots should we close? This is 0 0.5. Close Let's close three and remain two. Close three and remain two. Okay, so I'll type 0 0.3. The one I want to close is what I will type in there. Anything that is there is what I will close. Okay. Trade is here, but what's the time? What's the problem? Any lot that is showing here is what you are closing. Do you understand? Okay. When you come, first thing is you come to volume and change it to what you want to close. Anything that appears here is what you are closing. It's closed. Yes, I understand. But does it work with the app? Sorry, it's yeah, it's easier with the app than even the laptop, than even the 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 empty the window. Uh, okay. okay. Let me uh, it's easier with phone. Yeah. Let me show you the problem here. If please follow me, it's important. Can you go to tools? Tools. Can yes. you tools. I click on tools. I go to options. See options. Uh -huh. Please ensure that yes. when you go to options, come to trade. You see the trade? Yes. Make sure that this box is unchecked. Okay. If this box is checked, if you accept one click trading, if you accept this one click trading, you will not succeed. It is accepted now. One click. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Don't accept this thing. Very, very dangerous. It will not help you Any because excuse. your emotion is misguiding you. You don't have an excuse. Ensure that this one click is unchecked. I've unchecked it. That is only when I can do that. When that one, if that one click is still there, I cannot do what I've just done. You will not be able to do it with that being there. So go to tools, go to options, go to trade, and make sure that this box is unchecked. Fine. In my own charts, I try to use only 5,000. I reduce this to 5,000. I just learned that from our boss <laughs> and it gives us a freer platform. Okay, so I'll answer your question. Um, yes. Which other pay do we have for analysis? So for you, dollar, I can Hello, now decide to close all the trades. I can now decide to, to close partial trade. I can now decide to... Did I, can decide to close. Let's check what we are looking at at USD card. Let's do the analysis together. And we look for another pay like um, um, okay. I think we are good to go now. Any other question you can ask? If you cannot unmute yourself, let me know. Okay, a question is there? On the floor before you click close trade and adjust your lot size. Okay, thank you. To close partial profit. When you click on close trade, on the MT4, you hold on the hold on the trade you want to close. You hold on it, it will give you options like modify, close. Click on close. When it opens up for you to close, go and change the volume to the volume you want to close. The one that shows there is the one that will close. 
Okay, so let's complete this chart. This chart we have done, please take note, the only thing we have done here, we don't use any indicator, we only try to see the trend. The trend is your friend. Please, in this business, the trend remains your friend. Whenever you see a new trend scoring a point, don't be confused with what I mean by scoring a point. Let's see something like this. Let me show you something. Don't be confused by the number of lines. Your chart should not be clean. It should be very dirty and scattered everywhere. If you want to trade, you want to trade a counter trend line strategy. I'm talking about strategy now. After you know the trend, you want to be a conservative trader. You don't want to just enter a buy or a sell. All you do is to connect a trend line. This is called counter trend line strategy counter trend line. You connect this to this, only these two, and project into the future. While we were coming down, you did the same thing. You connect this to this one, project to the future. Your business is point A and B, project into the future. Anytime price is ready to change, anytime the bulls, the bulls are ready to score a point, remember it's a game between the bulls and the bears. The talk of war, it's the game that the other side will stay there and this side will pull, we pull each other. Anytime the bears, the bulls would score a point in this bearish movement is when this your counter trend line is broken up. Meaning that a new, instead of lower high, lower low, we now witness a lower high and a higher low. Low, higher than the previous low. Please take note of this place. A low, higher low, this is lower low, lower high, but instead of coming to form another lower low, it now forms a higher low. When you see this kind of thing, please, you can use a counter trend line strategy by co connecting a trend line from this to this project into the future. By that time, price is already coming back, but it has refused to score to form a lower low, meaning that something is about happening. And take note, see, it happens at that time. It happens at the support level, one, two, three times. It tested here. So when you see, you can use this strategy. This one is called conservative. You would not buy. You will not buy at 61.8. You will not buy at the support. Even if there's a formation, it is called conservative entry. You are now waiting for, if it is true, let it break out. Let the bulls score a point. The bulls have just scored a point, forming a high higher than the previous high. And it has broken your counter trend line. Please take note, you don't still enter. You don't enter. You wait for the breakout to retest the back of your trend line. It has retested and 61.8 plus this support level had held it. So you can take any setup outside this because the bulls have just scored a point. Someone asked me the other day, how do I know when the trend is changing? The price was forming higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. Now, not a higher high again, but now a lower high. You start suspecting something. When you see that it, something is wrong here, it's not normal, you cross this to this, project to the future. You want to be conservative, and when it comes back, it breaks. Now, a low, lower than the previous low, have changed the story. The BS have scored a point. The BS have scored a point. Low, low, and the Are we together? Is that a question? Yeah, one more. Is that a question? Yeah. When that happens, you can actually wait, look for any available resistance level that this price broke out, which is like this. There was consolidation here. There's a cluster of candles, Mr. Christopher Terry says clustering. 
So candles have clustered here. So that was a resistance, perhaps. You have to wait for the candle that broke this place. The price must always retest, please. Any support broken must be retested. Former support becomes future resistance. Former resistance becomes future support. Don't mind the time it will retest. Will retest. We, may, we may not know, but when it goes, it will come and retest. It broke out here. You did not buy. You did not sell. It retested. This level was support. This level was resistance. It retested. So former support becomes future resistance. And it has given us like double top here, or it has given us something like one could call head and shoulder with a neckline here the neckline here. So we have now waited patiently for the breakout and retest. The BS scored a point here. Here, higher, lower low, lower high, no more lower low. Something is wrong. Start looking for entry signals. If you do not have a Fibonacci placement, go and place your FIP and check. Something is wrong. Should be a level, something. It, there should be a U-turn some way, somehow. It's not normal because it should be a lower low, lower high, lower low, but something is wrong. Lower high, but no more lower low, but higher low. So you have to look for something. You not place Fibonacci, place it. Place counter trend line, look for when the bulls shall score a point, forming a high higher than this former high. That is bull scoring a point. Wait for retracement and now buy. That is how simple it is. At that point, you have found your C. At this H1, you are lost, you are stop loss. According to your first question, would not be much. Let's see. It's about 60 pips. Please. We are using this support. Your stop loss will be about 30 pips. I don't know for those of us in IML, check the daily swing trade of 38 that Mr. Chris posted. He said something about risk management. Remember, I agree, I, I listened to him. He said, extend your stop loss. Don't keep it too close, but reduce your lot size. That was the essence of the calculation we did on our first video. Go, you see the video. Calculate your lot size, depending on the number of pips. Depending on the number of pips, let that number of pips decide your stop loss. You cannot keep your stop loss inside this 61, nor inside this identified support level. Your stop loss must be out of here. Your stop loss is even better out of the low of the U-turn. This U-turn, you should be out of it. It's not much, but 70 pips. All you do is to calculate 2% risk. You will still risk 2%. Don't risk more than 2%. You want to risk 3%, still risk the 3%. But ensure that your stop loss is at a point that you are not bothered. Whatever happens does not affect you. The, the price can decide to do whatever it likes here. You are not bothered. Your trading strategy should differ according to season, according to time. The market sentiment this week is centered on non-farm payroll by Friday. Whatever technical analysis you have, remember that non-farm payroll is coming by Friday. Now, what happens? If price will be selling on NFP, I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about, um, let me share the whiteboard again. If price will be selling, if we will be selling by NFP, um, Mr. Harbour, can I ask a question? Please ask. I just checked. I just checked the US, USD Canada right now, and yes. uh, I noticed that uh, it it is retracing, like it is selling right now. Is it? Is it? Do you think? Is, is, 
as in is it is it normal for it to go down first before it starts going up again or is is it I, I, because I'm, 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 when I look at it now, at that point, I like we've question. not gotten, we've not got, yeah, we've not, we've not gotten to the point that we should use Fibonacci to, to check if, if uh, it is retracing or also enter as a bar, as a, as a sell. But right now, I don't think this is, this is a strong enough sell. Okay. Oh, you can see the chart. Yes. Fibonacci 2 can be used on any time frame, even if it is one minute time frame. Now, the, the distance from C to D will not be a straight line. It will still be the normal zigzag. It will still be the normal zigzag. So you can actually use Fibonacci, as far as we are scoring points, what I mean is as far as the bulls are scoring points at each movement, they score a point. Can you see higher highs? As far as these higher highs are still in existence and higher lows are still in existence, we cannot say no to a movement, but rather we can actually look for where to join the movement. And with this, my, I can still bring this back. I can bring this back here. I can even close out the trade. I can still trade, I can follow the trend by moving my stop loss, following it. I've taken enough money already from it. So it can come back to here, it can come back to here. I can decide to place a, a buy limit, waiting for it to come and pick here or here. But in this case, my stop loss will still be outside. Let me give you a true stop loss for Fibonacci 2. So that at least you can quote me this why I taught you this. The stop loss, the true stop loss when you are using FIB must be outside A and B. Are we together? Do you understand? If you are entering a buy here, the stop loss should be outside A. If I, Mr. Mr. Alba. Mr. Please. Hello? Mr. Alba. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you. If I understand Kufrid's question very well, you know, US card has been buying too. And now this is the retracement. It's not selling. So how do we know that this retracement is imminent? That it should answer sorry. itself? Or is it just a temporary retracement? Is it going to go back to its uh, bullish trend? Okay, I've answered it. What I mean is this, as far as the last high we have is higher than the previous high, mm. it is a bullish trend. So okay. only thing we need to know now is, now that it is retracing, where is it going to? That's why we brought in this other Fibonacci tool to place it here from the low, low to the highest high, and we are able to see price at 8.2 percent retracement of the whole of this movement, and we hope it should be at about 50 or 61 oh, percent, which is former resistance becomes future support. When price yeah. makes a resistance, must come and make it a support. Move again, come and make it a support. This. Is the, how this is how the movement goes. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, I do. So, so now, at this point, at this point, uh, at this point, is, is it is it wise for someone to, to sell. sell as it is going as it? Yeah. Is it wise for us to sell to that point? This uh, fifty. We this have fifty point zero. If we were to sell, we should have sell a, a candlestick formation. Okay. We should, that's why we have missed the entry point. We have missed the entry point. Thank you, sir. Oh, if okay, we were to okay. sell the retracement, it should have been after price from this bearish engulfing. Okay. okay. This could even be called an even. So they, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Those those two those two candlesticks now the, the the green and the and the and the red now it's called evening evening star, right? No, the two will be. This two is bearish engulfing. 
Okay, okay, okay. Engulfing. So how do you, how do you, at the hand, that's what I want to know. How do you identify it? Is it, is it by the week? Is it through the week that you identify that it is bearish engulfing? Or how do you come about identifying it? The combination of candles. Um, this is when we want to learn candlesticks combinations. We have to combine candles and see the, the candlesticks is the language of the market of the price. Candlestick is what tells us what happened at this time and at this time. At this time, what happened was that the bulls took the price as high as this in the talk of war, and the bears returned the price back here. As at then, this candle was red, and at the end of the price, at the end of the battle for this particular hour, the bulls were stronger again than the bears. They took the price back up here, it closed here. Immediately it opens here, the bulls, the bulls took it up here, but the bears took over the power from them. And now pulled it as long and longer than this one, almost <coughs> took it down. So you can see that at this point, the bulls are more powerful than the bears. The bears are more powerful, more powerful than, the, than the bulls. At that point, you change your bias and join the post office side. Our duty is to be flexible, to always change our bias. You support Chelsea, sharp, sharp, sharp. Merely discover that it is now. About, you have to change. You don't have a permanent club side here. You have to change. <laughs> Whoever wins is your friend. The trade yeah, is your friend. That is a business here. So when you saw that these guys were so powerful, that was why you changed the candlesticks formations. We changed the colors. Right click on your MT4, go to properties. You change your bulls candle to be green and said your beer candle should be red, orange, red. The bar of you did the color selection so that you will know when the bulls are in charge. And that will help you to know when the beers are in charge. When you discover that in the battle that occurred here for some hours, one, two, this one, one hour, one, two, see this one, they took it up, they brought it back, they took it up, the fight was strong. One, two, three, four, five hours. You now saw that these guys won the battle. At this combination of two, we have a bearish engulfing pattern. That is the entry point. Please, if you miss an entry, don't go again. If you miss an entry, forget that one. That one has gone. Wait for another one. But where we had an entry here, our stop loss should have been outside this B. This is A, this is B. Our stop loss should be outside this B. 20 pips or whatever is okay. This will give you a, a smaller lot, a smaller risk. At this level, you can now have a bigger lot size. You can now have a bigger lot size. Let me all again. You can unmute yourself when you want to ask question. At this point, you can see that you can have you have a smaller. This is what will make you have a bigger. This is what will make you enter the first trade with 0 0.01. Enter the next trade with 0 0.05. Enter the next trade with 1.0. Depending on the risk between the entry price and where your stop loss must be. If it is as small as this. Use the formula we gave on the first day and calculate your lot size. Check the trade. You are already about 12 pips into profit. You will not be out here. You are very sure of 50%, if not 61.8. But even at that, at this point of about so many, how many pips, 12 or so, you have moved your stop loss out of the risk and place it at break even. No more risk. Risk free investment. You don't have any problem again. If it likes, it hits 60, 50, 61. If it likes, it hits what? 78.4. None of your business. That's uh, Mr. Alba. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Alba. Yes, ma'am. When uh, without a 12 pip movement, and you're already moving your, your, your stop loss to break even, sometimes there can be a retracement and it takes you out of the market before it continues. I like that. It happens to me today. It I like happens that. to me today, I'm speaking from experience. It I takes like you that. out and it continues. And I, you are out of the market. Fine. So for 12 pips, me, I cannot move my stop loss to break even. It's too close. 
Uh -huh. the, the business is this. When price gets to 50% retracement, it can turn back, though you are waiting for this. That is about the time you move your stop loss. And it also depends on the time frame you are looking at. At this one hour time frame, at its 8.2% retracement, it's still very small. And number two, mm -hmm. it depends on the candlestick formation we entered. Yeah. There's a formation that would have given us more space. Let's see 15 minutes. Even at 15 minutes, still this one is a dark cloud. It's still very short. This dark cloud. Okay, we will have trade. Uh, we, this is where we should have entered in 15 minutes. Those that missed yes. this one would have entered this. This is called tweezer tops. Tweezer tops. Like two hammers, inverted hammers with wicks on the top. This is tweezer top. It's a strong signal. So at, at 15 minutes, we'd have sold at the tweezer top. This would be about 23 pips. That's fine. And you move your stop loss to break even. Yeah. All these well, we are Mr. Alban. Yes. From all these analysis you, you, you made, you see, uh, it makes trading so easy and so sweet. Okay. But the problem with most of us is this. We don't have a laptop. Like me, I use I use uh, I use it to trade. So this Fibonacci you're talking about now, we cannot really lay our hands on it. Otherwise, going there to pick the Fibonacci and you know placing it on your trade to see where uh, you, you, the price is going and where you should exit the market or stay in the market or move your your stop losses, it will make our trading more simple and even you know help us to manage our, our losses in this, in this business. So I don't know if there's a, okay. another way for people okay. that don't, that don't okay. have a laptop, people that don't have a laptop. This is not school free. This is virtue speaking. Okay, okay virtue, virtue. So you know, like yes. uh, it's even IML that has really yeah. pointed us. It's IML that has pointed us. IML has pointed us flat. Ordinarily, from what I what I really know about forex trading, you can't trade forex without a laptop. But IML giving us signal, the swipe trade, giving us a uh, the daily sweet trade giving us harmonic and telling us where to enter, where to exit, and all of that. I think they've been spoon feeding us. If you really want to do forex trading, if you ask my cabinet advice, you need to get an answer. Am okay. I speaking the am I speaking the right thing? Yes, even, even, if you don't, even if you don't get a laptop, you can get something as small as a palm top, something you can carry out about and monitor your trades while you are while you are on the go. Because basically, laptop that? Is easy. but if you have something like an iPad or something smaller which you can use that has a keyboard, you can manage yourself while you're on the move and still trade. Exactly, Mr. Please, I want to ask a question. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, please. I want you to show us how where we can get uh, this uh, Fibonacci. Yeah, yes, because I've been watching you. I don't even know where you get it from, so that we know how to use it. Okay. Because uh, I've been watching. I even when we finish, I tried to do. I couldn't even do it. Okay, man. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. Can I say something. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Michael. You're welcome. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I just I just got the link for this meeting, and um, I'm happy about it. Um, um, a quick one on the laptop concern. The truth is, um, I would rather not have us um, um, conclude quickly that IML spoiled us. IML didn't tell us that we don't need a laptop from the day one. You know, they, 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 you can't do trading on Forex without a laptop. You need a laptop. Although you can also have a mobile device that will help you, but you need a laptop. And IML did not in any way let us know that we don't need a laptop. Although they provided us other stuff that could help us end quickly. But they also said go and train. And you cannot train, you cannot train effectively without a laptop. 
Okay. Of the quick one. Okay, and, sir. Uh, my, the other concern is, sir, um, yes, sir. For me, for me, um, um, I miss some of these meetings, um, and these meetings are not at the introductory level, so it's difficult for me to catch up on some of these things. I wish they will, these meetings can have like an introductory flu so that most of us that are here recently can actually start from the introductory place and begin to make sense of these meetings. I really, really appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, can Mr. Michael. Can I forget something? Thank you, Mr. Michael. Yes, sir. Can I forget something of that for Mr. Michael? Okay, so yes, yes. Sir. yes sir. Mr. Michael. Yes, ma'am. We ma have the introductory, all this introductory and elementary section on the academy. For you to really be able to flow in this meeting, you should complete your academy. That's on IML, your right? Basic, yes, your basic, your intermediate, and your advanced course. Okay. Then okay. That, let, okay. Let me let okay. me come in there. Um, A quick question. Do I do okay. I do I rather yeah? The program we are doing here, this program, this yes. one month program, mm. is a kind of throwback to the society. We want people more participants in the industry. Mm. So what I mean, the, 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 this gathering is not only IML members that are here. The majority will be okay. IML. Those of us that are not in IML mm. do not have access to the products we name here. But the, oh, okay. of your, the, the, the introductory to Forex, you have mm. an IML Academy. Yes, it's sir. IML. You have your yes, IML sir. Academy. Let me share yes, sir. Let me share the Academy with you. That's where yeah, I, I do. I just started recently. I just started the Academy. You started? Yes, I just started yesterday. I'm on the basics. Um, For those of us that are not in the academy, you can still manage the babypips.com. That's where all of okay. us started. Mm. Baby. Babypips.com. Mm. Mm. I'll copy that for you. If you, mm. if you can afford coming here, this is the academy. Is it loading? What do I do? Okay, it's loading. This is the academy. In the academy, you have Forex basics. The class is different. We have intermediate one. We have intermediate two. We have technical analysis. We have advanced course. We have mindset course. You want to trade harmonic patterns. There's a course on harmonic patterns. We have market geometry. In the academy, there are different courses. At market geometry is a different thing. The harmonics want to trade harmonic pattern. Geometry one, geometry two, three, geometry class, balance class, Elliott wave class. Where you study the waves. We have uh, the TV. We have the TV. At the TV, we have a uh, trade trade room. They are, they, 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 they do timing from Sunday to Sunday. We have trade room, trade house, New York live trading station, London live oh. trading station. Then for the education, we have wealth analysis. All the products you want will be analyzed. Carlos does the wealth analysis by counting the wealth. Remember, what we are just studying now, if you add wealth, to Fibonacci, to support resistance and candlesticks. You will not need anything at all. You will not need to know anything. You will not need to know anything, again, in Forex. Wave analysis. So wave analysis is a class we should not miss. We have strategic analysis room. Any, any, any currency pay will be analyzed here fully. This is culture of trading room, culture of trading room. So you should have you have access to these ones. But if you don't have them, don't worry. You can still learn the way we started it. We started from baby pips. So you can still get mm. your babypips.com and start from kindergarten. Wow. And you still learn. 
gradually we shall meet somewhere and with forex becoming forex becoming www dot Can still start from where we started all of us but for us in iml we have those tools we mentioned for now then on the laptop issue please laptop should not be a problem for now but there's no way you can do forex with that laptop you can mm. do analysis on phone on phone mm. you can take to take trade i do analysis on laptop but with my phone I open trades, I close mm -hmm. trades, I manage positions. How did I know my, I can draw trend lines here, I can draw support and assistance line here, but there's no Fibonacci tool here. So, by the time I detect my support and resistance, I'm okay. Merely I get my support and resistance, I'm okay. At that point, I am free to play alongside with the trend as far as that support is concerned. As far as that the resistance is concerned, really agree with support and resistance. I'm fine. So even at this trade now, even at this trade now, let me show you. This is 15 minutes. Let's go to yes. In USD Canadian dollar, I this I, I saw this as the support for today, which should be the 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 low of yesterday. We saw the support, and I saw here, and I saw here as resistance, former support, future uh, becoming resistance. When I saw these two levels, I drew you these two lines. I drew these two lines, these two red lines. And I knew that I'm ready to play the games of support and resistance inside this box, inside this range. We have this range to play with until non farm payroll. 167 pips range to play the game of buy and sell. Buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, waiting for non-farm. Non-farm will break us out anywhere. It could break us up here, towards here. It could decide to retest this other former support. It could take us to anywhere. We cannot tell. But now that we have been able to detect a range of 160 something pips, let's stay here and play the game. You can even see that I have a buy limit, a sell limit somewhere here. I don't want you to take it. I may delete it before time, but I'm trying to show you that you can be buying from low and be selling from high. Buy from low, sell from high. That is how the movement goes. When price breaks a given resistance, see this place was a resistance. Just check at smaller time frame now. Let's go to smaller time frame. Let's see if you can see it. Support and resistance is important, please. This place resisted. Price was resisted here. One, two, was resisted here. This was resistance. Was supporting here. Now, this... Mr. Van, Mr. Van, please don't forget my question. What was please. that? On uh, Fibonacci 2, how where I can get it. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. uh, can you see my cursor? Yep. To no, see you. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the yeah, I, can, I can see. Yes, I can see now. That is it. You click on okay, it. Okay. 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 For the bullish trade. Can you please click it again? Have you seen it? Yes. You click on it, you move it. You want to check high and low. You place it at the low. In a bullish trend, you place it from low to high. This is it, from A to point B, and we have 61.8. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We trace to 61.8. When that is done, you've gotten your C, you are done with this one. You can double click on it and delete. Now, from the question that was asked, we've been able to find another A to B, we are looking for C between here and here, here and here. And that, why do we look for uh, C? We have now seen that this place was a resistance. One, two, what date? It was resistance May 25th, May 25th, May 20, uh, 26th. Resistance 
meditate here. And now we have broken this resistance. Remember what I said, any resistance or support that is broken must be done what? Retested. A game of support and resistance, a break of resistance must be retested. So that formal resistance becomes what? Support. support. We have broken support. it has retested this. So even if we are looking for 50%, 61.8, this one could be a different key thing. It must acknowledge this level. It can hang up here, waiting for a fundamental to push it down and return it back up. Until the BS score a point, we would not change our position from buying. How will the BS score a point? Until this A is taken out, a low lower than this low is formed. That is when we change our bias. That's why if okay. you are from here, your stop loss must be outside here. If you are buying from A, your stop loss must be from here, your stop loss must be here. If you are buying from 61.8%, please keep your stop loss outside A. It's less than 50 pips if you are using one hour time frame. If you use one hour time frame, enter at 61.8. Make sure your stop loss is outside A or any available support you saw. Take it there. We still have up to 40 pips. Stop loss. It's not a bad thing. Reduce, yes, calculate and know the volume you want to use based on the stop loss. Enter the buy. When the trade moves close to 100%, again, this zero, you can move your stop loss to 50% or to 38.2% and wait for it to break because it will have to acknowledge this level before breaking towards our 161.8. So in the one hour time frame, if we buy from here, our take profit will be here. Let's confirm that AB equals to CD. Let's confirm that AB equals to CD. AB in Fibonacci equals to CD. So let's take C as 61.8. AB equals to CD. So that is how simple it is. Number two, uh, the third question about taking it from the basics. I don't know, the first day I tried starting it from basics, and every day I'm trying to balance it. What I said was, mm. by your question, I will be able to give you the basics. At least if someone asks me a question that take me back, I'll be so happy. The essence of this program is for those persons. Those persons that don't understand anything about Forex but has the passion. You can ask me a question that would take me back to start from zero. But for now, go and check on our Facebook page all the videos that we posted on different days you will see day one, you will see day two, you will see day three. And today one will be there, day four. Our Facebook page is Malbans FX Global Services. Malbans FX. Go to that page on Facebook, search and see, it. like the page, then check the videos of the one, day two, day three, and today's video will be there. So you follow it. You want to check. You want to check on uh, IML. You can check here. You can check here. Let me expand this. You can check on www. What is IML? dot com you see more video you have more details there now let's discuss i've done analysis today i would not love doing another analysis again the one we did which other one do we have which one do we have mm -hmm. um deborah 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 mm -hmm. who, who is with me in uh yes i'm here Okay, you saw my you saw my chart on USDJPY. Yes, I did. Did you pick the trade? No, I saw it late. When I said that we should check back our 
there was the video of yesterday, we saw that price was at 61.8. At that point, each time price comes back there, we must keep buying. We keep buying it from 61.8 and we keep exiting when it returns. What happened? Okay, let's discuss fundamental. Let me see if I can give you some clue about this coming Friday. Friday. Okay. Friday makes this week a different week entirely to traders. Friday. Let me check Forex Factory. Okay. Sorry? Sorry? Let's have a clue about Friday, please. Friday. This is today. Let's look for Friday. I click on more. This is forexfactory.com. Tomorrow, Thursday, what do we have? Okay, by 2 a.m. today, there will be some volatility in the market. Check this. When you see the red folder, this is high impact expected on Australia. Mm. Any pay with Australia, we have a high impact there. Um, private capital expenditure. So tonight's Asian session will be busy. It'll be very busy one. Retail sales. And all of them are forecasted positive. Can you see this? Previous was negative, but this time it has been forecasted positive. Private capital expenditure. Let's check the details, please, for those that are new to the, this system for you to understand. Australia, Australian Bureau of Statistics change in the total inflation adjusted value of new capital expenditures made by private businesses. I said day one. If I knew I would be a forex trader, I would have studied economics. This is a field for the economics. And... Uh, Banking, whatever, but whatever is just an addition. If you did accounts, this is your field. You understand inflation, you understand the law of supply and demand, the theory. That is what we are doing here as novice. We are busy as novice using candlesticks, support and resistance to talk and discuss practically and make money from the laws of supply and demand. That's what we are doing as novice. Economists are the experts in this field. They know what it means by inflation. So if you're an economist and you are not the one teaching me forex, you have to wake up from slumber immediately. Because you are the one that's supposed to teach me this. So at this point, the real statistics are releasing this news to, to this night by 2 a.m. 2 a.m. this night. If you open forexfactory.com on your laptop, and the time is not same. Please check this time here and confirm it is if it is your time here in Nigeria. If the time here is not your time, you have to set it. You click on it. 2 p.m. You click on it and ensure that the time here is 10.48 p.m. If it is not, please check this place. You'll see the difference. Time zone. See our time zone here. GMT. Western Europe, London, Lisbon, Casablanca. You come here and choose our own time zone. Self settings. Self settings. And go back to calendar. The time on your laptop, on your own browser, will change to the normal time I'm seeing here. So I'm still going back to. Friday. I can still go back to Friday from here. Friday is 2nd May, 2nd June. I'm back to Friday. Only Friday. I was at, Hello? I was at tonight, 2.30 a.m. Australian news. Australian news. Every current page that has Australia, check what will happen. If you don't sleep, please confirm. If the news is positive, if the news is positive, as 
as predicted, as forecasted. That's the word, right? the correct word, forecast. If the news is positive as forecasted, let me look for setup on Australian dollar. Australian dollar, pounds Australia, pounds Australia H4, H1, Australian dollar charts. What about Euro Australia? Any chart on Euro Australia? Euro Australia, Australian JPY. Australia, Euro Australia is not here. Let's check pounds Australia H4. Now looking at Australia, we're having news by 2.30 a.m. So let's see if we have any setup in preparation. Okay, Pounds Australia was buying, it's already in, it has taken take profit one. Let's look for Australian USD. Australian USD. Okay, this is for what is what I'm looking for. Is H1. AU is already giving us a buy. Entry at 7422. So it is not that it is exactly this price to start buying. It is about this zone that the Fibonacci tool had been able to detect a buy. It is at this level that Elliot Wave, Elliot Wave count had detected a buy. So anywhere around here, they do buy. And now what am I saying? Let me take you back to Forest Factory. Let's go back to today. Today is um, this. Let's go back. So, let I take it here? Let me take it on the first. Let me take on the first. That's when it's happening. See what I'm talking about. 2 a.m. this night, as we are talking by 2 a.m. This is the previous release. This is the previous release. And now, why are we concerned? Is because this is red, red, mm -hmm. high impact. impact, high impact expected on Australian dollar. Nine thirty mm -hmm. tomorrow, Great Britain pound, mm -hmm. high impact expected. When you see the red, please check what is happening. You see the brown. Brown is medium impact expected. The yellow we ignore it. It's low. It has impact. It's low. Low impact. By 2 a.m. tonight, what happened is the previous one was minus 2% and the current prediction of the inflation is 0 0.4. So this is bigger than this. Am I correct? Yeah. Meaning, yeah. That, meaning that what we are expecting is positive. Now, look at the effect. Please look at the effect. High impact is actual. What sign is this greater than? If actual is greater than forecast, it will be good for currency. Which currency? Okay. Fine. This one of the textbooks. Sorry? If where's the noise from? Someone's Okay. Um, if by 2.30 a.m. the previous was this and it has been forecasted, released quarterly, why traders K, it is a leading indicator of economic health, business and quickly if, if affected by market conditions, changes this, that, that, that. <clears throat> if the actual that will be released by 2.30 a.m. will be greater than this forecasted figure of 0.4%, <laughs> it will become green. The release will be here, actual. If actual is greater than this, good for Australian dollar. Actual, greater than focus. Excuse me. Great. If actual greater than focus, 
good for Australian dollar. Now, what will happen? What will happen? Let's check at uh, where do we go for MT4? Let's go to whiteboard. Whiteboard first. This is Mr. Mike says I should make it practical. But please time me. Let me end in the next five minutes. I want to end. We can we meet tomorrow. But let me give you information about Friday. That's what I was coming for. You know about um you know about uh um what do we call it? Base slash quotes. Base slash quotes. Okay. Meaning that in the currency pay of AUD USD, that Australian is the base currency, USD is the quote currency. The currency on the symbol on the left is the base, the symbol on the right is the quote. Now, if the news by 230 being released, the actual figures greater than the forecasted figures which shall appear right on your screen you know that the scanner had given us an information that the news will be positive the forecast is already positive so if when released it becomes positive what will happen is that good for australian dollar the price will be buying <laughs> the trade will be buying. If it is against Australian dollar, that is actual less than forecast, the trade will be selling. And this buying, if it happens, is still buying back to a support, le a resistance level. Because when we are preparing for non-farm payroll, a major, a major event like that, what price will do will be to take off from resistance, stop, go back stop go back and wait for the actual event for the week those that are support level like what USDP is doing will keep doing this come back again come back again and as we are speaking i mentioned yesterday in the video that we still have room for usdjpy below 61.8 that we are still expecting usdjpy at about 78.4 percent if it happens no problem it still give us more room to buy and if i'm giving you as an expo we have more than 800 pips on the highs on the upper side so we don't care whatever is happening down what is coming up in the upper side is almost 800 or 900 pips as i where we are now at 61.8 we are looking for about 850 pips up if it gets down to 678.2 by non-farm payroll we are looking for about a thousand pips on the top so what is your business is the what is the, the, the direction we are heading where we have the biggest pip that is our business so um non-farm payroll is friday whatever you are doing please do with care the month has just ended the new month candle have just opened for the new month go back to your mt4 use the monthly time frame check the candle that closed last month if it has given you any candlestick formation if it has given if it has given you information go to weekly time frame check for the information we are looking for candlestick formation we are looking for trend we are looking for resistance and support then we now look for entry positions at smaller time frame detecting trend reversal and detecting when the opposite trend is scoring a point meaning that if it has scored a point the trend is changing at that point or the trend is reversing at that point take note of trend reversal take note of trend retracement there are two different things so you don't be confused about retracement don't be confused about Reverser. Hello, can I ask a question? Support and resistance. Hello. Yes, sir. Um, this is my second day on on this webinar. Okay. I am Victor Diamond. If you could notice that I came in yesterday. Okay, I welcome, sir. Yeah. Uh, so my 
first of all, I'm novice to to, to forest forest trading. Yes, totally novice. And I really want to, I have passion for it, and I really want to have a good training on how to trade wow. on wow. forest. You understand? A... I don't know if there is any way I can have a one on one training with anyone you could recommend for me, sir. Where are you? Where is your uh, where, state? Are you? I'm in Delta State, Warrior, right, right now. Okay. Yes, I'm in Warrior, Delta State. Online. You see? Yeah. Sorry? What we do is mostly online. What we are doing is mostly online. And okay. we are all at IML Academy. Either you join IML Academy or you go to babypips.com and start learning forex. Join our webinar, at least within this first one month. Go to my Facebook page. You are going to see videos that can teach you how to learn. You can see on that page, I have a video on gap trading, how to trade large gap by Christopher Terry. We have a video on shift on our momentum. But for now, I think the best place what, let me, let me, I, I do not want to make it as if I'm promoting IML products, but what I'm telling you is this. What that academy is yes. offering us, we could not afford to pay for it. The cost of that academy, the value. You can become an expert in one month. You can become an expert in two months. But you need a laptop for analysis. Even if it's a refurbished okay. one, you need I have, I have a laptop, I have a tablet, I can... Go every material on forex is there online. If you can afford to join IML Academy, that will be better for you. You'll be able to meet up with okay. us. We have, we have 38 hours Hello? live transmission on IML TV. Hello? In classroom like this, yes? Who is talking? We can chat on the chat room. You can chat on the WhatsApp chat group. And uh, as we trade, we keep updating. And uh, maybe one of these days, I have to keep my Zoom on the afternoon open and we trade together. Today I was trading and talking chat on chat room. We need to trade together on the day and see what and what we have. For now, 2.30 a.m., expect news on Australian dollar. Go to Harmonic Scanner, check the setup. If it is a buy, know that the news will be good for Australia. Like myself, I think I'm 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 selling Euro Australia at a given price, and uh, when you detect your stop loss, uh, your support and resistance, you can actually do it. What we are expecting in the market, the sentiment we are expecting in the market this week is a non-farm payroll. As far as Euro USD has refused to go down, it stops at the resistance, comes down back go back again to the resistance. This resistance is at 1.13, and it comes down forming lower highs, lower highs. Of the last resistance at 1.12, 12.55, 1255, now 1250. Each time it goes up, is an opportunity to sell. Each time it goes up, is an opportunity to sell. If it remains there till NFP, it means NFP will give us the expected support. It will come to commission the movement. If by tomorrow, if by tomorrow, the, the release of US tomorrow, it now rush down to support. We buy from low, we sell from high. We cannot buy from high to make profit. So that is the sentiment we are expecting. Next week, it will be United Kingdom's election. So we have every week sentiment. And this month, non-FOMC, we are still expecting interest rate hike. After second week sentiment on pounds, everything will move to US dollar, I um, mean, FOMC, except any other breaking news that could jump in unexpectedly. Otherwise, that that is the sentiment for the month. By tomorrow, we will have a clearer cost I'll be able to tell you much about, I should be able to discuss NFP tomorrow. Please, those that did not join the primaries, 
Tomorrow, I'll discuss fundamentals. I'll do fundamentals details. Try to draw lines on your charts. Nobody will beat you for doing that. Draw trend lines, detect support and resistance. When you have support and resistance, stay inside there and play your game. Buy and sell. When you get closer to resistance, stop buying. Get ready to start selling. Get back to support, stop selling, and start preparing to be buying. That is how to make money. If it breaks the support, change your bias. Go down, follow the price. No permanent site here. Change camp anytime, change camp any moment. But ensure that you have a calculated risk. From the first video, you have the calculated risk. You have the formula to calculate risk. Manage the video as you see them. We try to see if we could be able to affect or impart knowledge or help people change their ideology about the business of forex trading and have enough Nigerians become successful participants in the forex industry. Thank God for the arrival of iMarketLife. Thank God for other platforms that have arrived. Thank God for Nigerians now that are ready to help other Nigerians by writing textbooks, preparing training sessions at different locations because we are preparing to take over the industry in Africa and we have to prepare well. Thank God for those that are opening trade houses. For that bird I was talking about laptop, if we have trade houses, trading hubs across Nigeria, all you do is to move in the morning to the trade house, get the analysis, get everything done. That is the plan at hand. I'm happy we have one already established in Abuja. If I'm there tomorrow or Friday, during the non-farm, I will be there at the trade house. We will be trading together. Yesterday, we were there. We traded together. This on the screen. I will be, I'll be able to take some shots of our trade house here and share with you on our page. That is what we want at different locations. Traders come together. Traders come together. Form union, form association, form anything. Let's do it together. That is what is happening at Cameroon. I'll be there at Cameroon from... Uh, maybe from the feed that uh, we are going to storm in that Cameroon. We have clubhouse there, members already gathering, discussing forex. Forex is totally virgin in that land. I know of my friend at uh, the Benin Republic who had been with me for a while. He had just established a trade house there. So that is the culture. The culture is let's develop trade houses. Business is business. Please don't want everything free. Get your investment capital, get the cost of the business, including internet. We don't manage internet in this industry. Please, thank God for those that live in a city that has unlimited internet. The internet I'm using here is 10,000 naira a month, unlimited. No matter anybody can connect. I know it's in Lagos, it's there in Port Harcourt, it's here in Abuja, I know it's in Cardona. I don't know other players that will have the Nigerian uh, inter, is it Nitel network. $10,000, Naira, sorry, for one month unlimited. Um, Spectranet, is it? I know have, they have also joined limited network. Is it $15,000? We don't manage internet here. It's the cost of the business. I can stay online with you from, I can stay till tomorrow. I don't care about data. You don't need to. Please, this business, Change your mindset, change your approach. Do it as a business. Do it as a business and you have the result. Don't do it, it's not a game. Don't try it as a game. Let me just try and see. I wanted to trade, I want to try with $100. It's not an investment equity. $100 is not part of risk management. If you use the formula I gave you on the first video, you cannot calculate anything and see any lot size to use to trade even $200. At 50 pip stop loss, use that formula and check $200 if you have a loss size for it. It will need three decimal points. We don't, we don't have the three decimal points. You only have two decimal points, 0 0.01 micro lot. We don't have loss size that can accommodate that amount in what we call risk management. Otherwise that you stay in the business and take bigger risks than people that have bigger money. I'm talking about undercapitalized investment. Do it well, do it the right way, Gather enough knowledge. Every information you need about forex is there online. Study it. If you want the tailored one, 
been tailored down to avoid confusion. Everything has been tailored down. You join IML and we carry you along. You fly with the wings of others and become an expert in less than a week or two. Truly speaking, if you put in one week in IML TV and IML Academy, you'll be a different person. Thank you for today. See you tomorrow by 9 p.m. Thank you so much, Mr. Alba. Thank you for your time. 9 p.m. tomorrow. In five years. Bye bye. All right. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night.